Hello there, everyone, and welcome, all you salmons and squids in the salty sea, and welcome to another episode of the HOH Podcast. Thank you all for joining us once again. I continue to be the man in the van that runs from ghosts. <laughs> I'm Donut. Joining me today, he has been known to fly in the night sky and illuminate the evening. Hello, Luna. Hi. His porn will leave you satisfied at night and will definitely leave your bed sheets white. It's Mr. Freeman. Hello! <laughs> I was asked to write this intro specifically for you, and um, I apologize in advance, but hi, Daddy. Hi, Nick. <gasps> oh, why would you do this? Oh, no, I hear why. I hear the laughter. I was paid off by that lady who rolls down that supermarket aisle in her milfmobile, and she be big chillin'. It's Miss Diz. My milfmobile? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. But first, it's time. He's here. It is the man, the myth, the legend, the king shit on top of shit mountain that looks upon us his lesser shits. <laughs> the man where we get our namesake from. Hi, Hellion. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello there. It's him. He's here. <laughs> it is the man. Hello. You got the best intro we're ever going to have on this podcast. Potentially, yes. We're all little shits. I've heard some pretty good ones over the, you know, several years that you guys have been doing this. So, thank you. Oh, I'm just getting started. Donut is having fun with these. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun with these. He's pretty much the master at that. Milfmobile. Milfmobile. <laughs> <laughs> As it is the namesake, it is Hellion of the House of Hellion. We're going to do this a little bit differently than normal. As the five hosts, we're just going to run down, ask you a couple questions, talk to you, see how you're doing. End of the show, we're going to round down with our very important question. And then we'll end it. Okay, I certainly hope um, I'm not going to be waterboarded or anything like that. Well... Would you like to be? Get ready for the torture. There's four Americans and one Canadian, so we make no promises. But you got at least a 20% shot there. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Let's see, spin, spin, spin the wheel, roulette, reel. Hey, Miss Diz, why don't you go first with the questions? Oh, God, okay. So mine um, has to do with the... Like the founding of House of Hellion itself, because well, I just want to hear the love story of you and Princess Buttercup. Oh God! How did you guys get together and form this beautiful house in which we find ourselves? Well, okay, it started many, many years ago in a small country town. We were out in the town one night at a local bar, and uh, it was a very special day. It was a big horse racing carnival that day. If you know anything about Australia, we're big on horse racing and we celebrate it to the fullest extent. Here we were, all dressed to the nines, went out to a bar with some friends and I looked over at the bar and locked eyes, literally locked eyes with Nikki. And we sort of smiled at each other and continued on with our festivities for the evening. And it wasn't until the bar closed... I was walking home, and my friend that was beside me said, Oh, look, there's someone I know across the road. Let's go and say good day." Lo and behold, the person across the road was Nikki, also walking home. But the problem was, she lived in one direction, and I lived in the other. And now, it's late at night, small country town, Australia, snakes. Lots of monsters. Yeah, a lot of shit that can kill you. I decided to uh, walk her home. Oh, what a gentleman. Well, here's the thing. We walked and walked and walked. And I kept on saying, uh, how, how far do you live? He goes, oh, not far, not far. And we walked. It got like an hour into the walk. And I said to her, well, I'm several kilometers away from home here now. I'm going to have to turn around and start walking home myself. Otherwise, I'm not going to get home until two in the morning. Oh, no. I ended up saying goodbye to her and nice to meet you. We didn't hook up or anything. As it turns out, we were actually 50 metres from her house when I turned around. Oh. So 
that was that. And then about two days later, it was my birthday, and I decided to uh, get a few friends around. On the stipulation that, because I had to work that day, I said to my friends, get together, and uh, as soon as I finish work, I'll come and party with you guys. I worked a little bit later than I should. I got back to my place and found out that I'd missed Nikki again. She'd come around to my place, invited by all my friends, and then the very next day I thought, well, I should probably make amends here, and I went and found Nikki, and I apologised to her, and it started a whirlwind romance, and here we are, 28 years later after meeting each other with two wonderful children. It's been an interesting ride. Oh my god, that's so sweet! <laughs> <laughs> It's been a wonderful ride. It has. It's had its moments, like all relationships, obviously. But all in all, I can say that I'm very happy. Very happy that I chose Nikki, and very happy that Nikki chose to stay with me. Okay, so now that we have established how freaking adorable the two of you are, what led you to starting House of Hellion in the first place? Ah, now that is a good question. Okay. Again, I make reference to Australia a lot because, obviously, it's where I live. (gasps) You do? You live there? What? Oh, no. Oh, my God. You've been lying to us this whole time. We're actually all paid actors and we don't really live here. (laughs) (laughs) When we first started gaming online, we didn't enjoy playing with other Aussies. And they can be a little bit obtuse, so to speak. A little bit in your face and just downright rude they choose to be and they're not fun to play with they take things way too serious and i didn't want that sort of environment how long ago was this that you you noticed this oh it didn't take long (laughs) took all of one year of playing with aussies and i went no this really isn't my scene they're not nice to play with they're not friendly they're not talkative Oh, I took it upon myself because Nikki was just getting into gaming. I'd been gaming for about roughly a year. Nikki had just started gaming. She felt really uneasy about being online with other people. And Australian service really wasn't her cup of tea. So I took it upon myself one day to start searching for servers back in the early days when Steam actually allowed you to browse servers. And I came across one that gave us a little bit of high ping. We assumed that it was an American. So we joined the server. We spent, oh shit, I think the first time we joined that server, we spent a good four hours laughing our ass off with these people that we had never met. It was a Texas-based server. Thank you, XPG, by the way. It just blew our minds. We never felt so welcomed in our lives in a server like they were intrigued about us as much as we were intrigued by them and before you knew it i had like 120 friends requests in one day and it just started from there about a year or two later somebody put it to me and said look you should really start your own group you know you've got several hundred people on your friends list and i'm pretty sure that they're going to be fairly faithful to you So I decided to create House of Hellion. Aren't you skipping We Know Hellion? Because that was a whole thing in itself, wasn't it? Yes. We Know Hellion wasn't created by me, though. It was actually created by a friend of mine in in Sweden called Oho. And Oho, if you're listening, thank you. He created We Know Hellion. And before you knew it, We Know Hellion overnight had 350 members in the blink of an eyelid. And some have come and gone, which is fair. You know, obviously, real life has its moments where people move on or do other things. It got to a stage after about probably a year and a half, two years of Wino Hellion, I realized that I wasn't granted any of the powers to make announcements or anything like that with Wino Hellion. Uh, And I don't know, for some reason... Oho wouldn't give me that permission to do announcements. But your name was on the tin. It was, it was, but I wasn't head admin. 
the group wasn't created by me and back then I don't believe that permissions were actually a thing to be honest it was really early in the piece of steam so but anyway long story short I didn't want to abandon We Know Hellion I'm still part of We Know Hellion but I wanted to take it one step further and put our name out there get servers going I had big plans for House of Hellion. You know, we had the website there for a while. We had a marketplace that was selling games there for a while through the website. I think at one stage we were talking about creating shirts, T-shirts. Yes, the Mona Hellion. (laughs) (laughs) I remember that. Wait, what? I think it was Ron Burgundy. Hi, Ron, if you're listening. Maybe Paul. It was one of the two of them, I'm fairly certain, had photoshopped Hellion's face onto the Mona Lisa. And <gasps> I don't have the file anymore, but I can oh, tell you it was, it was exquisite. I remember seeing that. I want to see it. Oh, it was I good. need that image erased from my mind again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good one. I've got a good one for you. Here, here you go, Luna. Do you remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! No, sure no. the Wait a minute! Yeah, no, you gotta send yeah. it to everybody. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. I will. I will. See this. If you're listening to the podcast right now, I will put up the image for you on the screen right now, so you can see what Hellion sent me. This is beyond art. <laughs> I stumbled across that the other night and just had a bit of a giggle. <laughs> That's from Christmas 2014. I think I already know what it is. <laughs> I mean, clearly that's true to form. I no Photoshop that. there. <laughs> Santa Helen coming down the chimney with his gifts. Oh my god, it's beautiful. The, the, the cigarette. It's hard to forget. Oh my goodness. I have no words. I don't want words. <laughs> Oh, God. He's of age badly. (laughs) Ah, no, there's not been anything more beautiful since the Mona Lisa. (laughs) I'm pretty sure I've got others, because we used to uh, do Christmas postcards to a lot of people as well. When we had the website, we'd gather people's emails, and we'd say, oh, do you want to be on our Christmas list? And they'd go, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So every year, I'd get Ron to do up a Christmas card. And that was one of them for that year. I believe another one was... (laughs) I had a photo of my nipple. (laughs) I remember that one. That sounds familiar. I do remember that one. (laughs) Yeah, I think that was 2013. (laughs) Yeah, there's been a few. There's been a few. But yeah, going back to the story, we had such big plans, and we still do. We're so thankful to have you guys here. Because look, it's not all about us. All we did was create a group and friend you all, and then you guys in turn friended each other. And that's what makes HOH. It has nothing to do with Buttercup and I, okay? It's uh, it's all you guys. Well, that's... That's not necessarily true. You guys created the safe space for us to make friends and befriend each other in and, you know, date some of them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> date, marry, you have know, a child with. Have a child with. <laughs> a lot of little nuances on that story. <laughs> hey, we've had quite a few. Um, quite a few marriages, quite a few babies so far mm-hmm. in HOH. And it's, it, look, it warms the heart because that was our ultimate goal to just allow a space for you guys to just feel comfortable in, feel safe, feel appreciated. And, you know, it's, that's, that's all we ask, you know. Honestly, it's been a wonderful ride. And, and look, to be honest, I, I envisage quite a few more years yet for HOH. The Cheers Bar of Gaming Servers. Yeah, I, I think we there's bigger and better things to come. And look, I I got to thank you guys. Well, it's fresh in my memory for restarting the podcast. I know I probably all <laughs> you know asked a lot, considering that you guys uh, 
have a lot of shit going on in your own lives. Well, I can't, I can't speak for the other podcast hosts, but I can, for myself, say that getting back together with everybody and having a reason to get on the computer and talk to people again has been wonderful for my mental health. And I am loving the fact that we're all doing this again and playing together again. I think it's great. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And you guys are the best, honestly. I couldn't ask for a better group of friends. We're not, we're not at the end yet. No, no. I'm cutting off all the sap. It's we're only 20 minutes in. Can I cry in. yet? No. Donut, I want to cry. No. Cry in her time, not mine. Jesus. But I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess an interesting question for the host is, how long have you been part of HOH? Because I was thinking about it. By the end of this year, it would be nine years. Yeah. Yep, sounds about right. Miss Diz, what about you? Yes. Just to put a, put a number to it, how long all this has been going on for. I joined... Hang on a second. Well, I gotta say, like, ten years ago? Sounds about right. If not 10 already, 10 very soon. I'm pretty sure it's been 10 years for you, Jess. Yeah, I joined when I was, I think, like, newly 20. Best thing I've ever done. Crazy shit, because I joined at the end of my senior year in high school, so I was 18. Just a little baby. Just to, to put the... Speaking of little baby, Luna, when did you join, and how old were you? Oh... Boy, see, I'm looking at the Discord right now, and it says it's been around 10 years plus, and I know I'm on that list, but I don't... It's been almost 10, but I don't think it's been quite 10 yet for me, because I was in high school, trying to think. Grade 9, I started playing Team Fortress 2, and it wasn't too long after that I found House of Hellion. So I think maybe I was... It has to be almost 10 years, though, because I remember talking to you and Jaden, and I didn't speak for a long time when I joined because I was afraid. So I was already talking by the time you showed up. So it's got to be almost 10 years. Yeah, it has, it's almost 10. Like I said, if, it's, if I was 15, I'm 25 in June. So about 10, about 9 or 10, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Nick, what about you? I want to say I've been around... I was around before House Hellion started. Or at least before I knew about it. I was back when we know Hellion was a thing, and then we switched over. So it has to be longer than House Hellion was around. I'm estimating about 10 or 11 years, because it was after I got out of college, and I got out of college 2011. Well, House of Hellion is officially 11 years old in February. Okay, so... It wasn't too long between me getting there and House Hellion being... Well, I don't know how long it was, but... I know I was there maybe, like, a few months after Danny Duche joined, because he's the one that introduced me. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd known Dan from the early days. I actually met him in the XPG server, playing Team Fortress when I first started playing. So I've known Dan for, oh, well and truly 14 years, 15 years, possibly. And I want to... Just stress that for a moment. You said Team Fortress, but not put a two on the end, right? Correct. <sighs> okay, I never played the original Team Fortress. No, I I think I met you, Nick, when Left 4 Dead 2 came out. I'm positive it was either Left 4 Dead 2 or Left 4 Dead. I would say it was probably Left 4 Dead, because I was I was playing Team Fortress 2 before Left 4 Dead came out. And I was only playing Team Fortress 2 with you. Because I did not... I was not a fan of first-person shooters for the longest time. Like, I really played a lot of Team Fortress 2, though. And I got very, very uh, decent, <laughs> I'll say. Yeah, I remember yelling at you, Ian Mother. <laughs> I, I, played a, I played a lot of Arena with some very, very, very talented snipers. And I was a sniper, and we just would shoot the you know what out of each other like we had we went to war i had to cut my teeth on some of the best people available knock the gerardi right out of them yeah really what about you freeman how long have you been around 
I'm fairly certain that it was in the 10-year period, because I actually was looking through my screenshots, and one of the oldest TF2 screenshots I have is clearly on the server. I'm going to post that. So I'm pretty sure that's Pants Freeman standing on top of Princess Buttercup. <laughs> yeah. As a spy, and I'm uh, just taking a screenshot. I don't even know the context, if she was aware, but uh, <laughs> that is happening. She's staying in the corner. Maybe she was drinking at the time. It could have been. <laughs> She did enjoy her corner time. Either that or snuck out for a sneaky cigarette. Either way, this is before she had her sign, so it must be an old picture. Oh god, the sign! <laughs> oh god, you're right, I forgot about that. Ah, uh, yes. And her rocket jumping used to frustrate the crap out of me because I'd run up behind her to, to shoot her or something and she'd rocket jump and blast the living shit out of me. <laughs> But did you see what the low grav did to them tater tots, though? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. We had so much fun in that server. Uh, honestly. <laughs> Nick, save us from tater tots. Ask your question. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a few planned. I could. Uh, I was debating on whether a, a more serious one, a more lighthearted one, or just a completely stupid one. Roll the dice, dog. Hit Go with stupid. whatever you feel. Well, if we're going stupid, I was going to ask uh, Hellion uh, the, the of course, dumbest question I could think of, which is uh, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Uh, no. Definitely not. Get out! Same Good man. man. <laughs> All of you, get out! <laughs> right, you want to ask one of your other questions? All right, all right. Had to lighten the mood from whatever tater tots was going on. I didn't want to say titties, but here we are. Oi, titties! Oi! Baps. You see that? You see that's why I didn't want to say it. You say titties are side boob, Hellion's gone now. Oh, gotta love boobies. (laughs) (laughs) All right, uh, more serious question. Hellion, what is your, what are your plans for the future of House of Hellion? Oh, look, um, it's hard to juggle a lot of things due to my work commitments. It doesn't have to be anything concrete. It could be something more of, like, just a vague notion of what you want. Like, doesn't have to even be, like, this year, next year. It can just be, this is kind of what I want to do going forward, just in general. I really still would like to pursue the publishing of t-shirts. You know, and get it out there to our members and get our name out there. Just so people know who we are and what we're about. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one from years ago that thought, well, this is a shit server, or this is a crappy fucking community, that there are, you know, there must be other people out there that are dying to fucking be a part of a good community and want to meet decent people. So moving forward, I would like to put our name out there. I would like to get some t-shirts going. I want to give free shit away. I've got that many fucking free games here that is astronomical. You have no idea. I've got roughly 250 free games here that I've I've enlisted in Humble Humble Monthly and uh, they're just sitting here. So I really, I need to get motivated and start putting posts up on Discord so that uh, I can give some of this shit away and and brighten people's lives. Like, I mean, you know, because uh, without pointing at the elephant in the room, obviously uh, some people are struggling, you know, mentally, physically. I would love to give back to the community and... I understand what you're saying. That was basically the kind of answer I was hoping for. I wasn't looking for anything granular. Like, there's no real way you can... Like, especially with how how busy you are, there's not really much you can do aside from, like, once every once in a while, on the rare occasion that you have a vacation, you know, just do as much as you can. But, I mean, it's like, even that, you just want to be relaxing. Well, look, if I could unbox Pandora, I would win the lotto tomorrow. I would buy several plane tickets for Nikki, myself, and our son. And I would fly over to you guys and put on the biggest party that you would ever fucking see in your life. Hire a band, you know, fly you all there. 
fuck, if I won lotto, I'd have enough money to be able to fly everyone there. We all get together and finally meet each other in person. You know what I mean? That is my ultimate goal. That has always been my ultimate goal. But, unfortunately, real life has thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. So, but, dude, it's never far from the back of my mind to do that. Am I allowed to cry yet? <laughs> That's Donut's call if you're allowed to cry. <laughs> Donut, can I cry yet? All right, I, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because uh, we, we need those tears just to drum up some uh, clicks and views. Let's... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No. No tears. Damn it. <laughs> it took him a while. No tears. <laughs> too late. Not late. Not yet. Look, I'm setting you up for tears, but not yet. Uh, okay. Speaking that's... of tears, Luna, ask a question. What? <laughs> What? What's that supposed <laughs> to mean? Tears. Okay. I think Donut just called you a crybaby. I tried to find a transition, but there wasn't one. So go ahead, ask a question. That was terrible. I've been okay. First of all, make Hellion cry. I'm a crybaby. <laughs> I don't know what you're insinuating, Donut, but I don't like it. Number one, I can edit you out of this podcast entirely. Just boom, you're gone. <laughs> that would be awkward to hear. <laughs> and number two. I couldn't think of anything serious to ask Helene. I tried. I thought, what can I say? What can I do? Something that's a a legitimate question. But somehow, my mind came to the conclusion that no. This is what you're going to ask. You're not going to think of anything else. So here it is, Helene. What is your opinion of lava lamps? (laughs) Lava lamps. Yes. Lava lamps. Opinion. Go. Um. Hmm. (laughs) They're interesting. <laughs> I did, I did, you put me on the spot here, Luna. God damn it. Is this, this is the hardest question he's been asked all night. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, where the fuck did anything. this come from? You're going to make him cry, Luna. No, <laughs> that's did, a, did a lava lamp kill your parents, Elaine? Is that why you don't like them? <laughs> No, I took. I used to take a lot of LSD, so I really can't comment on on lava lamps. They're evil, oh. dude. Well, do you like the part where the lava goes up or the part where the lava comes back down again? Oh, oh. distinction. Do you like your admin lava? Yeah, do you oh. like lava lava? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he wants to be my lava. <laughs> but oh. don't you have to get with his friends? That is- well, yes, yes. Now and again. That is a seven-year-old joke. I know, right? That joke has been going on for almost a decade. And you know what? It's still fresh as ever. How have I not heard this joke in seven years? Oh, no, that's been there. Uh, Same with, like, love, Shaq, every time Shaq Fu comes in the server. It's true. Ah, yes, yes. Or, good night, hero. Oh, that one I know. (laughs) That one I know. (laughs) Well, Luna, thank you for once again just reaching and far exceeding my expectations from what I have from you. So go ahead, Freeman. Ask your question. Thank you. I've got a non-lava lamp question. (laughs) Thank God for for that. Blast. You were starting to to worry me, though. (laughs) So your information on Aussies being rude gamers connects to what I wanted to ask you. Yes. You're an old school gamer, you know, you've been around longer than any of us here. Uh, How do you view gaming of today? Do you see a change in the spirit of gamers today? Have they gotten worse, better, more competitive, more enclosed, or is it the opposite, more fun, more open to new people? Oh, they're definitely not more fun. Oh. (laughs) In the the early days... Oh, actually, no, maybe... Yeah, okay, in the early days, I, I did find them fun. With the XPG server especially, in fact, we spent hundreds, thousands of hours in the XPG server just dicking around and literally not caring about what time of day it was. Back then, I was actually working construction, so I would find myself being on the server until 1am and having to start work at 4am most days. I'd just lose track of time. 
And these people were genuinely friendly people in XPG. I, I had so much fun. I have so many fond memories. Look, I can't tell you whether it's the player base that has changed or the demographic of the gameplay itself that I don't enjoy anymore. Because I know that TF2 has done a lot of changes over the years. Back in my day, I bought the orange box, so I was one of the saps that spent 99 bucks on the orange box, only to find that it went to free-to-play a couple of years later and felt quite bitter about that because here are people enjoying the game free of charge when I parted with money. But then they introduced the store, which... At the time, I really didn't like. The introduction of the TF2 store established greed in my mind. It took the love of the game and enticed it with cosmetics. And I, you just saw people change slowly. It wasn't about the enjoyment of the game anymore. It was about what hats they could have. The expensive hats. The unusuals. Yeah, the unusuals. And it didn't make it fun anymore, because maybe I'm just old-fashioned. I think the gameplay itself ruined the experience for me. And to be honest with you, I have no inclination to go back to TF2 now. I did attempt to go back to TF2 about a year ago. I joined a server with Sponge, and I was greeted with so much music spam across the platform that I just turned around a sponge and went, no, nah, I'm never playing this again. If this is what Valve has created, just didn't make it fun at all. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. Well, here's the thing. Like, this is actually a topic that got inspired by my own experience with gaming. I knew you were going to bring up TF2, uh, but recently I've been playing that Baratrauma game. And there's a lot of people that are complaining about how they went. Uh, they had a free-to-play weekend. They had a sale. And they had all these new people show up. And they wanted they changed the game to kind of accommodate new people to grow their, their player base. And the veteran players, they don't like it anymore. They don't like the, the new changes. I don't think there's anything wrong with growing a player base, you know, like TF2 did try to do with free-to-play, but you do have a point that there is some kind of greed mechanic when it comes to the store. Well, that's what ruined it for me. I saw even, even some of my closest friends just get greedy. At one stage, I remember, we used to do just random competitions in the server. I don't know whether any of you guys were in the server that day. But I'd just turn around and I'd buy a couple of keys. And I'd go, okay, I'm going to unbox a chest. And whatever I unbox, we're going to give away. Stupid me, I should never open my mouth like that. Because I actually unboxed a strange hat. And a very rare strange hat. Oh. But... In all honesty, I took it upon the chin and I said, no, I've said my word, you know, and I will hold my word. I hold my honor. Uh, and I gave said hat away, you know, in a, in a competition, a battle to the death. I don't know whether you guys remember that. Was this the air blasting thing? Yeah, you had air I'm blasting. I'm vaguely familiar. I have heard this story like a dozen times. I wasn't there, but I know it well. I think I might have been there. Yeah, it was... Oh, we used to have all different kinds of competitions. Uh, a big one was for us was sawmill with the air blast. Yeah. Trying to blow each other into the swords as pyros. And I think that's where I lost that hat. Another one was just a fight to the death. Like, I mean, King of the Mountain kind of thing. You know, last man standing. And I ended up parting with another hat uh, to someone else because they'd turned heavy and no one could take him down because he'd just mowed him down. Yeah, there, there's been a few few different competitions. Random numbers as well. Random number competitions. Or we used to give away games as well. 
you know, I, I want to revisit those days as well. Going back to your original question, Nick, that's what I foresee for, for HOH as well. Well, I think the end of that story is the reason you didn't like that one particular thing with the unusual hat is that guy never showed up in the server again. He didn't. Right? Yeah. No. He unfriended me, actually. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, wow. Jesus, okay, I didn't know fuck? about that. Yeah, he unfriended me. He actually joined a troll group, and said troll group stalked a lot of HOH members. Oh. Oh, I remember those I remember guys. That. Yes. You know, they come and go. People come and go. In all honesty, uh, the main player base has been very, very consistent. Members mostly know each other and are all very, very devoted to HOH. And that's all I can ask for. You know what I mean? You're never going to get a perfect score across the board when it comes to leading a group. You're always going to get True. at least one or two that are going to fall by the wayside or push the buttons or... Get the ban. Yeah. I guess that only leaves me for a question. <laughs> but my question will be saved to the end because uh, before we get to my question, we have to get to our very important question, a question we always do at the end of the show. Uh, yes. <laughs> Which is specifically for you, Hellion. Yes. Would you rather fight one duck-sized horse? No, wait. Is it one horse-sized duck? Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? There we go. Um. Well, that's uh, that's a difficult one. Um. <laughs> I reckon a hundred duck-sized horses. There you go. Good answer. Yeah. It is the truth. Yeah, bring point. it on. Bring it on. I, do. I have no fear. <laughs> Kick them across We've chosen the this to be the question of the podcast. Well, this is the important question. But speaking of important questions, if anyone listening would like to post their own very important question to ask at the end of the podcast to the hosts and such, put it in the podcast from years ago channel and uh i will find one i will pick one and i'll read it out at the end of the podcast save so us hit us from up the ducks uh save us from the ducks more duck questions no more duck questions hey hey I, I will be your savior against the ducks oh <laughs> my hero <laughs> <laughs> i mean duck-sized horses are chihuahuas hey 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 i wield a big pair of steel cap boots okay yeah no duck will fuck with me all right <laughs> <laughs> but my question is not actually a question it's a statement that i feel should be said as we round down to the end of the podcast and i know miss diz has been waiting to cry she's been building up tears oh, oh my god. god i'm so ready there's the cue and here's my cue so to you hellion i on behalf of the members of this podcast, and as well as all members of HOH, would like to tell you, NPB, thank you. Thank you for giving us all uh, the space to play games and to have a fun time and an escape from reality for just a moment. Thank you for giving us some of, I could argue for myself and probably for everyone else here, some of the best gaming moments we could ever ask for. And although that it may have gotten a little silent in the past... What's important now is that we are all here together again. And so here's to 11 years, or just about to be 11 years, of amazing moments from all the members that are still here, members that have come and gone, and yet members that have yet to join. We would like to thank you for this fantastic community that you have created, that you have created, Hellion. So from all of us here... Thank you. Wait, uh, I don't know about I don't know about Dizzy, but I'm <laughs> I'm actually crying now. <laughs> thank you, Hellion. Um, thanks, guys. So we just like to say thank you, especially thank you for bringing us back again, because I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit for you basically just messaging us all individually and telling us, "Hey, why not?" Well, you know, it's. Uh... Again, um, my schedule doesn't really fit in with hanging around with you guys, and uh, I get a lot of enjoyment 
when I listen to, you know, not only the newer, you know, the older podcasts, but the newer podcasts, just hearing all your voices again and and knowing that um, you guys are still around and such good friends, it really does warm the heart. Uh, and I, I'm, I don't say that lightly. If I could chime in for a second before I forget it, because I am in tears. Um, I want to thank you personally from uh, me and Zim, because if it wasn't for you and Buttercup and the server, we wouldn't have our son, who is the greatest thing that the universe has ever created. <laughs> he is a gorgeous child, Dizzy, and you are so very, very lucky to have him. Honestly, with every picture you post on Facebook, I'm left in awe of him. He's a very smart little boy, and you should be so proud. And I look forward to the day where I can actually converse with him over the headphones and say good day personally. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, Luna. Thank you, Freeman. Thank you, Nick. And thank you, Dizzy. And of course, everyone. Thank Hellion. Thank you, Hellion. Round of applause. Thank you, Hellion. For joining us. For coming on with us today. Thank you. No worries. No worries. We love you, Hellion. We do. Yeah, yeah we do. You I... jackass. <laughs> <laughs> you get too, you get too emotional. Couldn't do oh, it. I, oh, I know. Good on you. Rude. <laughs> I learned from the best. That's how she is. Hey, here's to whatever's next, everybody. Because it's going to be kick-ass, all right? Cheers, Hell motherfuckers. Yeah. All right. Cheers, Thanks, guys. Everyone. Thanks, everyone, for listening. See you next Thanks. time. Bye, Thanks everybody. for having me, guys. Be good. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye everybody. Bye.